Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. Today's video request is how to use stroke in Canva Fund. So it's actually pretty easy. We're gonna get started now. So of course, the first thing you need to do is to add a text. So you can either press T on your keyboard to add a text box, or you can go to this text button on the sidebar and you can look for some text templates if you want to, or you can add just a plain text box, just like this. Now input whatever text you want to put here. So I'm just going to type an example, calligraphy, and there you go. You can change your font if you want to. So to do that, make sure that you select or click on your uh, text first. And then on the toolbar above, go to the font selection bar and change it to whatever font you want to use. If you click on the search bar, you can type in whatever you're looking for specifically, or you can click on one of these um, presets over here that'll uh, show you the different styles of fonts according to their, their category. So for me, my personal favorite is the handwriting, or I also like to use the word cursive. So it could just give me cursive fonts, just like these. Now, feel free to choose any font you want to use. Okay, we're going to have this one just for today's example. And then you can change it to whatever color you want. So change it over here. Perhaps this green one would do. All right, now we're going to go to the elements section. And we're going to type in here stroke and go to graphics and you can find some strokes over here. Apart from stroke, you can also use the keyword calligraphy and you'll find these very beautiful um, curves and strokes. So just choose from these strokes. You have a lot to choose from. So we're going to try designing. I'm going to select the strokes that I think would look nice on this calligraphy font that we chose. Uh, perhaps I'm going to place that over there. And then let's try to find another one for the bottom part. How about this one? So we're going to give it a try. I'm just going to place that one first over there and change the color of our font, um, strokes, I mean. And for this, um, I think it seems too much, but we're going to try to see if it's still going to work. We're going to flip it first by going to flip and we're going to flip it horizontally. And I'm going to rotate it and do something like that. We're going to change its color now. And there you go. I think it looks lovely. And then we're also going to try to see if this one would work. I guess it's too much. But maybe we can keep on looking. Perhaps I missed something at the top, so I'm going to go back there. And choose some strokes from over here. How about this one? Maybe not. I still need something. Okay, maybe we could just... How about leaf? Because it's green. I wanted to put a heart here, but I guess a leaf would be fine. 
this one looks nice. And then we're going to add in some flowers now, but I'd like to make sure that it's properly aligned first. So I'm going to highlight everything and yeah, make sure that they're centered. Now I'm going to add flowers to it. These are pretty flowers, so perhaps we can use them. And maybe we can change them to colors that are more visible. Or I could just add individual flowers, I guess. And okay, that's how you use a stroke in a Canva font. Well, in Canva. In case you want to download it, you can go to the share button above and then click on download. Select your desired file type and make sure to check other download settings. Select the number of pages you'd like to be included in case you're working on a design with several pages and then click on download. If you want to directly share uh, your design to social media, you can click on share again and then go to share on social and select the social media platform where you'd like your design to be shared on. And that's it for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Um, 
Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You have a great day.